Successful businesses have figured out some way to differentiate themselves, one or more of these things that allows them to command superior returns that are sustainable. And one new way to differentiate is through data science. Changes in technology have made new data available, and the company that better leverages that data is going to have an advantage. Now, if you're going to do this, differentiate by data science, it cannot be business as usual. We cannot do the same old company with the same old org structure and same old roles and processes. Things are going to have to get different. Specifically, we're going to have to rethink the role data science plays in the organization, and we're going to have to create an environment in which it can thrive. Let's start with the role. In most organizations, the role of data science is merely supportive. It enables efficiencies, but it's in service to some other department that is ultimately accountable. But if you're going to differentiate by data science, the role has to include some elements of ownership and accountability. Specifically, I like to see these two things. Data science participates in the framing of problems, and data science participates in the conception of ideas. Framing, why is this important? Because you don't want to limit your data scientists to making only incremental changes. Let me explain that. I'm going to use an example from nature to illustrate this point. This is the African giraffe. Its differentiation, of course, is that long neck, gives it an advantage for getting out that high-end foliage. It's graceful, it's elegant, and so appropriately designed. Or is it? Let's look under the hood at the anatomy of the giraffe. OK, we see some cogent design. We see an enlarged heart and arteries for pumping blood all the way up the neck. But what's this? The laryngeal nerve. It's responsible for sound. It just needs to connect the brain to the voice box, and that's it. Yet it takes this long detour all the way down the neck and back up. What happened here is the initial framing was off. We used the mammalian blueprint, which had the nerve on the wrong side of the aorta. See, the giraffe had an ancestor with a short neck, and through the evolutionary process, that neck had to get longer and longer and longer, and the nerve was stuck on the wrong side of the aorta. It got stuck, so it had to get longer and longer, making it less and less efficient. As a result, giraffes don't make much sound, and this isn't optimal, and it can't be fixed through evolution. That's outside the framing. So the point is this. Framing sets the course for initial design and all future evolution. Once framed, typically only incremental changes are possible, and this can be limiting. For the giraffe, it's stuck without the ability to make much sound. And this can be consequential in business as well. We develop our own versions of laryngeal nerves, things that are constraining yet hard to change or even hard to acknowledge. For example, you may tell your data, science to, your data scientist to go optimize something, get us to the top of that curve, we tell her. Yet we subconsciously subject her to constraints, initial framing that they're asked to inherit. We tell them, you can optimize, but don't do anything else terribly different than how it was done in the past. And this is constraining. They become invisible to us because we're so used to it. But they are there, and they are constraining. And what we thought was optimal may not be optimal at all. We're stuck in that plane, optimizing, doing only incremental improvements when we could have been up there at the top of that curve. In other cases, the framing prevents us so I'm seeing that we're solving the wrong problem altogether. We're optimizing the wrong metric. It took us a long time to realize that page views was not a great metric to optimize for. And like a laryngeal nerve, we're stuck on that black line when we could have jumped up there to that blue line. The point is, don't ask your data scientists to optimize something. Instead, ask them to frame the problem. Proper framing can give you great intuition or, um, into how things work, both how they work now and how they might work in the future. And you're going to be far more likely to enable them to make both incremental improvements as well as the step function type.